that the many divisions of Brexit and austerity in Britain must also be laid at the door of the Conservative government. At best, it has been irresponsible. At worst, it has been quite the reverse, directly responsible. A Labour government under Jeremy Corbyn and John McDonnell is the only thing that can heal the divisions of our society, to close the gap between rich and poor, to end discrimination, to bring communities together. A Labour opposition is the only thing, in the meantime, that can hold the Tories to account in their negligence and their ideological drive to shrink the state. But instead of doing this, just when the Conservatives have plunged this country into crisis, members of the Parliamentary Labour Party have plunged our party into civil war. This leadership contest is not only unnecessary, it is irresponsible and wrong. We cannot We cannot mend a country divided unless we are a party divided. Sorry. <laughs> Let me take that again. We cannot mend a country divided if we are a party divided. If only all things didn't have to be taken again. If only we could respect the result the first time, much like J Jeremy Corbyn's overwhelming victory last year. And this year, our party must unite around Corbyn's leadership to take on the Tories and return the Labour government in 2020 to undo all the damage the Conservatives have done to Britain and to build a better, fairer and more equal society. I'm very proud that locally, in Brentford and Isleworth, we have begun to do just that. Our CLP voted 64 for Owen Smith, but it voted 124 for Jeremy Corbyn. I haven't always been a Labour member. I'm not ashamed to say it. The first election I could vote in was 2005. The first election after the oh-so-electable Tony Blair launched a disastrous war in Iraq that has left as many as a million people dead in a country on fire from whose ashes we have seen the rise of the horrors of Daesh. But Jeremy Corbyn was there all along, helping to lead a movement against that war. So when he offered an apology for it on behalf of this party, I knew it was genuine. I'm not sure what Owen Smith believes. I'm not even sure Owen Smith knows what he believes himself. <laughs> like many, I was dismayed when the last Labour leadership under Miliband and Strictly's own hashtag Ed Balls caved into austerity, despite the devastating impact it's had on the poorest and most vulnerable people in this country, people which Labour was founded to represent. But Jeremy and John were there all along, helping to lead a movement against those cuts. So when they say that they want radical reform, I for one believe it. And I can get behind it. To be fair, I can get behind most of the policies that Owen Smith in 2016 says he wants to implement, but the one person who can't get behind those policies is Owen Smith in 2015, as his voting record says. For decades, Jeremy Corbyn has stood with us and stood up for us fighting every day for peace and justice and equality. Despite everything they've thrown at him, the Tories, the press, the PLP, Richard Branson, now it's our turn. Now we have to stand up for him, and we'll win. They may be powerful, but we are many. So friends, it's time to act like Owen Smith's wardrobe department and roll up our sleeves. <laughs> let's unite this party, let's unite this country, and together, with Jeremy Corbyn as our Prime Minister, let's make it better. Thank you.